How's it going everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Music City Bowl recap video. This was a game between Vanderbilt and NC State in Nashville, so basically it was a home game for Vanderbilt. And this was actually the first bowl game for an SEC team this year, and it's already the 31st of December, so it's been a while since the SEC team has played. SEC team has played, and Vanderbilt made the most of it and won this game 38-24. This game was basically came down to Jordan Rodgers and Mike Glennon, and not necessarily the more, the more effective quarterback, but the quarterback that didn't turn the ball over as much. Um, but I do believe Mike Glennon will be one of the better quarterbacks out of this crop of quarterbacks going into the NFL draft next for this year. And he's got a big arm. He's very effective in the pocket. But once you get him, once you pressure him a little bit, and once you make a move outside the pocket, he gets very inaccurate. And that's when he is worse in his game. I mean, and that's what Vanderbilt did. They pressured him all game. They hit him plenty of times. Uh, had him moving outside the pocket and end up forcing three interceptions by Mike Lennon, which is uncharacteristic of him because he's a very good quarterback. He has a really big arm, but like I said, once you put pressure on him, he kind of folds in, and that's when you can get the best of him and beat him. And, uh, the, the I mean, NC State outgained Vanderbilt in this game big time. It was 424 total yards to 225. I mean, Jordan Rodgers only threw for 108 yards with 16 completions on 25 attempts, one touchdown, and didn't throw a pick, and that's the key stat there. Because NC State turned, out, turned the ball over five times. And if you're playing an SEC team, you can't be negative five in the turnover margin and not and not ex I mean expect to win the game. I mean, it's not going to happen. Um, they had two fumbles, three interceptions with Mike Lennon. He did have a big game, though, aside from the three interceptions. 35 of 53, 383 yards and a touchdown. Um... And Vanderbilt didn't even really run the ball that well either. They ran 41 times for 117 yards, which is 2.9 yards per rush. So, I mean, they didn't really do too much in offense. It's just the defense that made the plays that really gave them field position to win. And that's what they did. And they went for it on fourth down a bunch, Vanderbilt did. And even went, on, went for it on fourth down in their own territory, deep in their own territory. And they luckily got out of that, which kind of kind of milked the clock a little bit. And this game actually uh, could have been a little bit worse because I think NC State scored a touchdown kind of late. So it really, aside from that touchdown, it should have been 17-38 to 38 when it matters the most. But they did score that last touchdown, so they lose by 14. And a, a funny stat was NC State actually was very effective on third downs. They were 13-19 and 19 on third downs, and Vendor was only 3-14. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Five turnovers is what essentially lost the game for NC State, and they also had nine penalties for 90 yards compared to Vanderbilt's two for 10. So, and also NC State didn't run the ball that well, so that kind of uh, Vanderbilt never had to crowd the box, which kind of helped the coverage a little bit in the game. So, uh, says uh, Creasy only ran for nine carries, 43 yards, and Thornton 12 for 39. Zach Stacy though, he did have a pretty big game. It was 25 carries, 170 yards. We went over 107 yards. Well, it went over 100 yards. And Jordan Rodgers added a touchdown run early, uh, late on in the game. So, um, I guess that's pretty much it. So, guys, let me know what you thought of this uh, this bowl game in the comment section below. It was a pretty good bowl game. We'll get to see more at the SEC slate tomorrow. Yeah, I think you got Mississippi State playing. Uh, LSU plays tonight. Georgia and South Carolina all play tomorrow. And Ole Miss plays a few days after that. I think next Saturday, like on the 5th. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you do not miss one of my bowl recaps. Have a great day, guys, and have a happy and safe new year. And like I said, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you later.